right click her ass. At least until the slide of fist is up, RL is not going to be comfy here. Absolutely not. RL should have a bit of a disadvantage. He's marked now level 2. Can really start applying pressure. RL just got to try and tank through all of this. Get the, the few points up in Flame Guard and then go from there as top lane. Argus already finding first blood. Kara helped a lot there because he does have Torf. DKB now. Sanctified. Mm. Oh, they didn't see him yet. Telling in the gangster now sees him, but seems like they're just going to leave him. Coral's going to be fine. Even Duster now showing up on the Enigma. Hell, they've even got the Quap showing up. Mark's here. Black Hole committed. Oh, it's stolen oh, though. No. Follow up Black oh, Hole. No. Wake me up. Perfect steal. Finds a double support. Woo! You love to see it. Yeah, that, that's exactly Black it. Hole committed. RL's gonna be there. The Black Hole doing nowhere near enough damage. Sonic Wave not doing it either. Argus just gonna TP up though in case. It's RL. He'll do the job himself, he says. Hurricane even helping him out. Still not enough though, Sanctified, forced to run, now a double chains out! Duster, moving in to try and help, almost going down himself. It's the Fiend's Gate coming uh, through, however it's not gonna help, Double King is down. And they are just playing this perfectly here, Ray, trying to help him get out of this situation, and it is actually gonna work out. Mark is out of there, Duster moving in, Italian the Gangster is actually going up against two right now, as they are both getting through the Fiend's Gate, but he's not allowing it. The Infernal Blade spam! Duster can't make it! He can't make it out! With the Octarine Core up on Italian the Gangster, he can just perma-stun them. Pyro went through the gate. <laughs> Meanwhile, bottom. Kara did go through the gate and ends up finding out the hard way where it goes. <laughs> Unlucky. Yeah. Double King still has Reincarnate, still has a TP available. Also has the BKB up, so there is actually some turn potential here. Problem is now the Aghanim Scepter Doom is out from Italian and Gangster. Duster though, able to get four staff away. RL jumping in. They really want the fight. They've got Duster. They've got Sanctified. They even found the Wraithing First Life and now they're not the Underlord. It's a complete mess in the bottom lane. Ravens are just smothering Seed up. No chance. So get the bot racks. No problem. Smart will blink onto the high ground. Isla still trying to get some damage done to Argus, but he's copying most of the damage. Have they gone too far here? Ravens? Not gonna retreat. Problem is Argus, he's just so tanky with the chemical rage. It will finally wear off, but he's got the BKB to use. He'll pop it. Double King still chasing, hoping for some crits to come out. Stun out again here from Wake Me Up. Meanwhile, Isla finally about to go down. Here comes the cavalry. They've got Sanctified to boot. The first reincarnation's gone. A GG is called. Raven's taking game number one in quite a convincing fashion against Seedub. A 4 to 30 scoreline. Which means I believe we got both streams, John. We got the 3-2-2 and the 4-20. Too bad. Morphling versus Ember is a pretty stable lane. For the Morph, the first few levels maybe feel a little bit tighter. Ember has a lot more play. And into level 3, the Ember is still going to have a lot of play, but you're not going to be completely shut down there. They are getting aggressive onto Isla early on. Oh, Isla. Yeah, he's, he's down. Nice pickup here from Ravens. Very smart play from Ravens as well, because you know the Void's not going to have an easy time against the Axe, so the fact that the kill potential is available for Ravens. They can start to be a lot more aggressive down a bottom lane with these double slows up. Double King. Oh, that's a lot Ooh. of damage from Wake Me Up. Jump in immediately from Italian and Gangster. They're diving the T1 tower already, but the Metamorphosis has been popped and they'll get the kill. Italian and Gangster to drop first. Wake Me Up about to fall himself. Duster though out of range for an attack. He's got mangoes for the scatter. Say that, Duster. Moving in again. Meanwhile, top lane. They do catch out Kara. Argus will move in. Isla. Ooh. He's probably going to go down. Oh no, the stick charges. Blast off lift is there. Cancels the blast off. And now the chain's out. Isla gets a double. Perfect rotation from Mark. Just in the nick of time. And you know what, John? This to leverage that ember, the fact that you don't have the best of hold here from Ravens. Oh, again? Chrono. Oh, boy. Remnants up top. Argus, he'd used the time walk to try and close the gap on Isla. 
Argus. Arg oh, he's not going to make it, I don't think. Time walk's not going to be available. He'll have to make the walk of shame back. Mark is playing this so damn smart, John. He is playing this so smart. He left the remnant there knowing Argus. Jump around the camps, but you need at least the Maelstrom up to clear out those camps effectively. And that's still a ways off here for the Void. So you're not going to be able to try to catch up with this Terrorblade farm anytime soon. Double King's always going to have fun here. Nice call onto the so Spider Army. Yeah. Coming a gangster. Going down, Mark handing out the tips left, right, and center. Nobody's safe from uh, from the Ember. Mid lane, though, there was a bit of a push coming in, but Mark, he just fills himself right now, going for more. However, he may have gone a bit far. He has remnants in three seconds, but it's not going to be quick enough, and the tips <laughs> immediately coming out. Oh, Calm God. down, Mark. Well, we know the internet. Yeah. It seems like they're going to head mid, because they know that nobody can TP into the mid T1 tower at the moment. They all TP down bot. So if they find RRL, it's a free kill. Still Ravens, they have rotated, predicting this movement, but instead the Void gets called out. Isla, he has not got the Dark Ooh. Cloth, though. He gets silenced. Wake Me Up was there with the save, and now the Chrono catching out two targets. Oh, Wake Me Up, what a save. That Ancient Seal, had he been like 0.1 of a second later. It would out Hyder. With her scaling up as a universal type, she does an insane amount of damage. And she can't just right click away. So, you have to stem the bleeding of it, C Dub. Play a little bit cleaner in these engagements. Find some pickoffs. Just oh, yeah. back off and some repeat. Baiting for his side. Perfect bait from the spider. Finding one. Might have another here in Duster. That'll be a second. The support duo and the off lane of Ravens, they are really doing a fantastic job. Like, I, I love the fact that they are, when it comes to this draft, that they probably shouldn't have been able to get away with. And they've got a huge spike now as well. They're rushing right toward the top lane through the Twin Gates. RL going to try and bait. Oh, it's a pincer maneuver. Look at this, John. They're moving in. Double King was not spotted. They're going to find the Rubik instead. A bit of an unfortunate scenario because they could have got the carry. Duster tying to the TP. We'll go down. So the support duo dying here for seed up. Can I just say as well, this double for lap... I think for uh -oh. seed up, can they have uh -oh. an earlier window they top have to play Talia a gangster. I thought he had something going there. Johnny had the harpoon up. He went for the terror blade, but the man was there to, to try and avoid any kind of death. Here's mid lane. Chrono is committed. They're onto the ember. Mystic Flare onto the snap fire. Mark's going to be able to remnant out, but it seems like Isla is as good as gone. They, they mess up just a little bit, splitting up. Oh, hold on a minute. The harpoon again on the double king. But with all that armor, he is a tanky, tanky boy. They need the magic damage to come out. In goes RRL. He gets a lot off onto the TB. Now the oh, cookie. Yeah. Can he sunder in time? No, he cannot. All right, this is more Flink Flactory. I'm liking what I'm seeing. This is nice. Against a hero it like Terrorblade, this is real. That'd be one. He breaks the smoke though on Mark. Now they know this smoke. Tier 2 mid tower, under siege. This could be very dangerous for Cedar. Do they get a call? But no, they know they missed it. Kara, he wants to move in. Meanwhile, Italiano Gangster just rushing in with the BKB. They've already lost Isla. They need to get out of here. This is not the fight. Duster's down. Argus looking for a chrono. He's fine at least one. It's going to be sanctified. Missing out of the Terror Blade, but who cares? There's three down. Seed up. They are being given zero breaks. It's Italian. You'll have fun with it, Mike. Trust me. <laughs> What's the fun without your hook? What damn necro? <laughs> It's gone now. <laughs> exactly. Rest in peace, exactly. my sons. No, do not rest oh. in peace. Struggle in the depths of the ban world. Never come back. Oh, Italiano. He's into three heroes to each other. <laughs> That's the state of the game right now, ladies and gentlemen. Italiano Gangster has 420, 444 damage. No, 344. AU Math XD. Sanctified. Oh, never mind that, because the Chrono! And the double Mystic Flare! Oh, it's so tough! Cena might need to call it. It's getting so yeah. tough in this game. Ron of Atos is out. Lock him down a little bit longer. Mark will barely remnant away. Cookie him out. Italian a gangster just chasing past the tier 4 towers. Can't quite reach for the harpoon. Luckily, they don't uh. have a creep wave. So Cena have a tiny bit of time extra. 
but not much time. No, not too much. And even though the respawn's coming out, I mean, at the least you have metamorphosis on your Terrorblade when you respawn out, but... Duster. And Duster. The harpoon on the brute, mother man. This is this is what I live for, John. Isla, nice jump in, nice oh. call. He does get Argus. That's a great pickup. He will die for this though, but the buybacks are incoming. Mark, he wants to capitalize as much as humanly possible. But who's gonna get caught? He has no remnants. He can't follow up. You're telling it a gangster. Look at this Giga Chat. Oh He's moving God. back in. Oh, Mark has died back. Double Kings by himself. Sanctified's gonna buy back, but it's too late. It is all too late. Ultra kill. Huh? GG is called. GG has been called. Ravens have done it. 2 0 victory for them. And that basically guarantees us a tiebreaker for Div 2. That is... That is...